So here's the thing. Chivalry isn't about dating and romance. It's the rules of war between men. Ladies and children are protected non-combatants in this battle. Once you demand to be treated like an equal, you forgo those protections. Welcome to equality. Welcome to your brand new world. They want traditional men back. Modern women want traditional men now, after years of riding the carousel and racking up a huge body count. No thanks. Could you ever trust someone like this? In modern times, women hate stability and assurance the way men hate chaos and uncertainty. When the modern woman offers nothing other than monkey double backflips, only an incredibly naive simp would invest in them. Women thought Fifty Shades of Grey was real, and a chad like Christian Grey would fall hopelessly in love with Miss Average. It was totally realistic that he didn't want a prenup. At every turn, child support is viewed as alimony. If women are biologically inclined to love a provider, this unemployment test is an almost sure way to get a divorce. It's as if a woman wants to test our love and decides to overeat and do no exercise. You will definitely lose interest in her after some time. They don't need a man. They said it loud and clear. They have their own money, their own homes, their own 401k, dental, medical. They pay for their own food, clothing, vacations. They are fully functional. Adults who don't need a father by proxy don't need a supervisor or manager. They have their own autonomy, their own agency, their direction in life. They do not need a man. So what is their problem? They have state protection with laws so vague that if you breathe, it's considered harassment. If they cross your line of sight and you notice them, you're a creep. They use dating to hunt and gather intel on rich guys. Chad CEO, Tyrone Trademaster, create Excel sheets on locations, times, and places, then headhunt the best option placing them in viable placements for monkey branching. They don't want to put in the work. The man must find them, chase them, acquire them, please them, placate them, pamper and praise them because they are all queen princesses and deserve so much more because they exist. With so many streams of income at their fingertips, they don't even need a home. Just have a ring light, a phone, and an of account, and the money rains in better than an open roof in a thunderstorm. Traditional men knew their role in society and inside their house. Outside, they were fighting battles, and inside they were bringing security, provision, and protection to their wives and children. Over the years, as gender roles changed, women no longer wanted a traditional man who had authority inside the house. After that, they started having problems with men having authority in offices. Then feminism happened, and that led to modern women taking over traditionally masculine roles in society. Today, they're tired of it and want the traditional man back because they realize they're not meant to live a masculine life. It goes against their nature, biology, and physiology. Men realize how society is against them. Men also realize that society was increasingly against men being masculine. They realize the laws, the government, the media, and general culture were designed to favor women and subjugate men. What man in his right mind would accept a contract that says the other party gets the house, land, savings, alimony, child support, furniture, big screen TV, tax return, child support, and the dog whenever they say so? The man becomes homeless, owes 18 years of child support, and just gets his clothes and shaver. You cannot make up a worse deal than that. Do women think that men can't walk away forever? Wrong. Men have no problem walking away and never ever coming back. With the deck being stacked against men the way it is, Walking away and staying away forever is the only option for men who value their sanity and their lives. Women made relationships with men transactional, and now they're freaking out because men accepted the challenge and flipped the script back on females. The anti-male feminist women of today have incredibly high body counts and they're proud of it. They're proud of the fact that they don't have any responsibilities towards their own bodies and towards their own well-being. They constantly try to oppress and subjugate men and feel they've accomplished something when they do. They deliberately reject and ignore men so that they can get an ego massage of how they are superior to men. Equality only on their terms. Today's version of feminism empowers women to not just want equality, but to gain superiority over men. As Jordan Peterson put it in one of his interviews, feminists today think about 1% of men who wronged women in the past and use that to treat every man or the other 99% in the same way, basing their whole lives and the feminist ideology on it, which is a completely illogical thing to do. And this is why modern women today have incredibly high body counts, because they've equated that with being independent and free, 
and with getting back at those 1% of men who actually did oppress women. This is why I feel that modern feminism has lied to women in general. Modern feminism has robbed women of their meaning and purpose, and given them a new purpose that is only making women more and more miserable. You only have to go and see the women around your society or online today to know what I mean. Women are miserable because of feminism. They think they're part of some positive movement that liberates them of their worries, when in fact, it only steals their value from them. I was recently reading a study that said women who enter the marriage without a notch, count which is now a rarity, are the least likely to divorce. Women with 10 or more partners are the most likely to divorce, but this only became true in recent years, the study said. This only goes to show that the more women sleep around, the more they're likely to lose any sense of loyalty and future stability when it comes to relationships. On top of that, no man truly wants to be with a woman who has a high body count. Nature is eternal. Men and women have their own roles, and that has not changed. The more aligned a man is with his masculinity, the more successful he's going to be. He's not going to be able to attain that if suddenly decides because of popular culture that he'd rather be a woman. Similarly, the more aligned a woman is with her feminine side, the more successful she is. For her, success isn't wealth creation, it's the happiness of her children. It's in the moments that she shares with her family. However, modern feminism has completely twisted this to make it sound like being traditionally feminine is a weakness. That masculinity is a weakness. And that women need to be more masculine and men need to be more feminine. They've completely twisted it around and women are miserable as a result. What started off as a quest for equality is now a quest for superiority. Modern feminist women say they want equality, but they only want it on their terms, which includes domination over men. Women want selective equality. They don't want true equality. They want the same salary that a man has for a particular position without having to work for it as much as that man. Women want a place in the boardroom, but they don't want to sit past 6 p.m. because they've got to go to their spa appointment. Women only reveal their anti-male woke nature when they do they things because it shows they just want to ride the wave of success without having to actually work for it. They compare themselves with high-quality men who literally sacrifice their entire lives and live in incredibly competitive environments just so they can get to those positions. Selective Equality for Women Modern feminine women are also promoting a dangerous narrative, which is that they believe they can function in societies without any men in those societies. This is a dangerous narrative because it will misinform young women about how they can do that without ever having to work for it. Will these women work in the sewers? Will they work in the mining industry? Will they literally work in deplorable conditions that men work in just so they can feed their wives and children? Or is it just the CEO that modern women want to emulate and look at? Why the hypocrisy? Why selective equality? Truth be told, this isn't equality. It's gender politics for domination while using whole generations of innocent women as pawns. Based on just observation, they must be empty inside. Craving emotional jolts is the only time they feel alive. Looking deeper into meaning and purpose will sustain them and free them from this drug-like addiction of misery. Only they can choose to liberate themselves if they want a better life experience. It doesn't look like they're going to grow anytime soon. In the end, as a man, I would love to jump at the opportunity to date a female who is genuine. No, it doesn't mean I won't return the same energy, because why would I ask you to be genuine if I was going to be fake? At the end of the day, I'll stay single until then, building my empire higher and stronger. Don't try and fool me with your claims to this or that either. I can see snakes coming miles away. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.